In this video, I am going to show you how I cut my hair layers. A lot of you always ask me how often do I go to the hairdressers. And to be honest, I only go once a year. That's because in between the haircuts, I cut it myself. And this video is going to show you exactly how I do it. So beginning with, we're going to need a pair of salon scissors. These are very sharp and perfect for hair cutting. Also a pair of crocodile or thinning scissors. We're also going to need a comb to comb out the hair and a wide tooth comb to comb the damp hair. Finally, we need a clip to help section the hair. So I'm just combing out the hair and as you can see, I've put it in the middle part and this will help me judge how to cut my hair. Sectioning the hair down the middle, I'm going to split it into two sections. From this, I'm going to then split it into a front and back section. I want to give my hair length a little bit of a trim, so starting from the back section, I'm going to run my fingers through it and then just trim off the ends. So once that's done, we can take the hair clip out and start beginning to layer the hair. Grabbing vertical sections of the hair, I'm going to run through that with the comb and also my two fingers. This will determine how much I want to cut. So once we reach the bottom, I'm just going to cut around one to two inches and I'm going to cut it straight across. Again, taking vertical sections of my hair, I'm working from the back towards the front and cutting it as I go along. When it comes to the fringe part, I'm going to pull it right to the top and cut off a couple of inches. Pulling the hair straight up is going to create some really nice dramatic layers. So once you've finished one side of the head, as you can see, the left side is dramatically shorter than the right. And now I'm going to create bigger chunks and cut it in the same exact way. So now that the left hand side is done, we can start working on the right hand side of the head. Again, just running through the length at the back, I'm going to cut and trim some of the hair length. When it comes to cutting hair length, you always want to step back and make sure that both sides are equal. And now we're going to start creating some hair layers. Just using the same method and taking vertical strips of the hair, I'm going to comb it and pull it all the way up and then cut it. See, the left side is a little bit shorter than the right side, so this is how I'm going to fix this. 
Now combining the left and the right side of the hair, I'm going to pull it up into a middle section and cut it. This way it's going to make sure that both sides are equal. So after some dramatic cutting, you'll notice that both sides are equal. Make sure that all the hair length throughout the head is equal or else it will look really weird. <laughs> So now that we've got the hair layers in the hair, I'm going to show you how to feather the front of the hair. This will create a nice slope effect that will frame the face. So now just pull in the hair, keep your scissors half open and put the tension onto the hair. Slowly glide it down and you will see that it slowly cuts the hair. So after you finish, shake the head. This will really show the layers and make sure that you're happy with them. Next we're going to go on to use the crocodile or the thinning scissors. As you can see, they're not as scary as it looks. All you have to do is clip into your hair and pull it. It will only cut a fraction of the hair. I like to do this because it really gets rid of the blunt ends and especially because my hair is thick and long. So just Using the same method that you use to cut your hair, you can use this to thin and out the ends. This way the hair will fall a lot better. So again, we're going to check that we're happy with the length, happy with the layers and make sure that both sides are equal. So now the hair should have nice layers. So bye bye to shapeless hair. I know that we've cut this hair off and it looks pretty yucky, but hello to your brand new hair. So thank you for watching and I hope this was an in-depth and easy to understand way of cutting my hair. So don't forget to comment, rate and like the video and until next time I'll see you soon.